Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nicole. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a background to your text in Silhouette Studio. So the first thing you're going to do is add a text box and you can type in whatever you'd like. I'm going to go with spooky season since it's almost fall and I've been in the fall slash Halloween mood lately. I'm just going to go ahead and resize that and change the font and find something that I like. So once you've resized it and you have your font the way you'd like or your text the way you'd like, then you're going to go to the fill button on the right hand side. Now you can fill it with a basic color, you can fill it with um, a gradient that they have in there for you, but you can also fill it with a pattern which is going to be that third box on the right hand side. Now as you can see there are a bunch of different templates and different patterns that they already have within the Silhouette Studio that you can choose from, but you can also add your own wallpapers or patterns that you've designed as well. So I've added this Halloween design that I've created and you can see how it is in the back of my text. Now there are also tools for you to change the angle of your pattern. You can also change the size of your pattern so you see more of it or less of it. So you can really make it how you want. Now that I've added my background, I'll go ahead and zoom in just so you can see that a little bit better. And you can see how I've changed the angle a little bit and I condensed the pattern so you can see more of it within my text. Now that you know how to fill your text, let me show you how to add patterns to your studio. If you go to the patterns button, you'll see that at the bottom I have patterns that I've already uploaded so if you go to your library, you'll see a tab that says patterns and all of the patterns that you create will be uploaded into that tab. Now I use Canva to create my designs and I download them right to my computer. So once they're downloaded, I just drag and drop right into that patterns folder and then you can see it uploaded immediately. Now that my design's uploaded, if I go back to that fill tab, in my toolbox and go to patterns, you'll see that your pattern is already imported for you to use. So there is another one that I've created and super easy. Now the only other thing that I like to do is sometimes it is hard to see your pattern within the text. So I go ahead and change the lines. So I change the thickness first. So I'll click on my lines tab and then I also change the color. It makes it a little bit easier to see your design once you've created it. And there you go. 